Ponso for R. Wikipedia article audio. Ponso for R. 46461 including a CI 16255, Cochineal Red A, CI. Acid Red 18, Brilliant Scarlet 3R, Brilliant Scarlet 4R, New Coxine, 460 is a synthetic colorant that may be used as a food coloring. It is denoted by E number E124. Its chemical name is 1,2-naphthol-6,8-disulfonic acid, trisodium salt. Ponso is the generic name for a family of azo dyes. Ponso 4R is a strawberry red azo dye which can be used in a variety of food products, and is usually synthesized from aromatic hydrocarbons, it is stable to light, heat, an acid but fades in the presence of ascorbic acid, 460. Health Effects Possible Cause of Hyperactivity It is used in Europe, Asia, and Australia, but has not been approved by the US FDA, 460. There is no evidence of carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, neurotoxicity, or reproductive and developmental toxicity at the permitted dietary exposures. The European acceptable daily intake is 0.7 mg kg and the WHO FAOADI is 4 mg kg. 460. The production process may result in unsulfonated aromatic amines present in concentrations of up to 100 mg kg which may be linked to cancer. The lake pigment form of the color additive can also increase the intake of aluminium beyond the tolerable weekly intake of 1 mg kg week. Therefore, the limit for aluminium may be adjusted to accommodate for this. Since the 1970s and the well-publicized advocacy of Benjamin Feingold, there has been public concern that food colorings may cause ADHD-like behavior in children. These concerns have led the FDA and other food safety authorities to regularly review the scientific literature and led the UK FSA to commission a study by researchers at Southampton University of the effect of a mixture of six food dyes and sodium benzoate on children in the general population, who consumed them in beverages, the study published in 2007. The study found a possible link between the consumption of these artificial colors and a sodium benzoate preservative and increased hyperactivity in the children. The advisory committee to the FSA that evaluated the study also determined that because of study limitations, the results could not be extrapolated to the general population, and further testing was recommended. The European regulatory community, with a stronger emphasis on the precautionary principle, required labeling and temporarily reduced the acceptable daily intake for the food colorings. The UK FSA called for voluntary withdrawal of the colorings by food manufacturers. However, in 2009 the EFSA re-evaluated the data at hand and determined that the available scientific evidence does not substantiate a link between the color additives and behavioral effects. The US FDA did not make changes following the publication of the Southampton study but following a citizen petition filed by the Center for Science in the Public Interest in 2008, requesting the FDA ban several food additives, the FDA commenced a review of the available evidence, and still made no changes. There is no evidence to support broad claims that food coloring causes food intolerance and ADHD-like behavior in children. 452 It is possible that certain food coloring may act as a trigger in those who are genetically predisposed, but the evidence is weak.